How do guys? How's it going? I hope y'all are ready for some custom zombies fun because we are looking at a map that just dropped uh, very, very recently here in uh, January 2023. So it's posted the 19th, updated 22nd, which was yesterday, and we're getting to it on the 3rd. So name of the map, the Sanctuary, jumping right in. So who are you? Uh, in this installment of Call of Duty Black Ops 3, Zombies Meets the Walking Dead, uh, we find ourselves with a different cast of heroes situated in the home base of the saviors known as the Sanctuary. Fight off uh, hordes of the undead as you navigate around the Sanctuary's uh, smoldering exterior and into the abandoned factory turned living quarters in a small to medium-sized Kino-style map. Okay, see, I didn't even read this, but that sounds awesome. Kino just makes your nipples tingle, you know what I mean? So, features, no perk limit, buildable shield, free wonder weapon Easter egg, music Easter egg, free point Easter egg, small to medium main Easter egg, uh, custom mini boss, custom power up, uh, cold world style mandolin, here's all the props of the people, so thanks to all the custom zombies community. If you've got anything, there's a crap but okay, and feel free, all that's good. And then I will be pulling up the full Easter egg guide because we will do that, and I don't want to, you know... It, with this stuff, it's just kind of better for everybody. But So, Pack-A-Punch is probably first. Then we can do Daryl's Crossbow. Then we have the main Easter egg, Acquire Three Fuses and all this. So, we'll go ahead and stick our toes in the water of this map. If I can drag my thing over here. I have got a uh, big old mug full of coffee. And then another thermos of coffee. under. Well, no, I thought it was underneath my feet. But it's over here to the right. So, we got plenty of the black bean juice to uh, fuel us through this little zombies endeavor. <clears throat> but yeah, I was, because like, I had another custom zombies map, but it was just, it was a bit older. It was like four or five months older, and I still want to play it. But then I seen this one. This one's brand new, and it looks like it's got, you know, some high quality detail, not just in graphics, but in what we can expect um, from the gameplay slash story. And also, I mean, I used to be a huge fan of The Walking Dead. I can't remember at what point I kind of just stopped watching it, because it kind of got a little bit, uh, a little bit dry, a little bit repetitive. They started doing weird. I think I stopped watching like right before uh, Rick died. I think Rick dies, if I'm wrong. But yeah, at this point, it's just kind of, I don't know. You can only push a, uh, a narrative like that for so long before uh, it just starts to not really make as much sense. You know, I get, I understand, you know, make your money while you can make your money, and that's what they're doing. It's all about the old cha-ching, but. Um, it's one of those things I kind of would have preferred to see to come to an end. That way it didn't, like, burn out like it's kind of doing now and has been doing. Uh, when we get into this, i got to make sure that my audio is adjusted right. I know that this part's good, but as far as the game audio, and I've got my light. It actually, it looks brighter than normal, but I've got my light, ring light, a bit dimmer than usual because my, my looking balls have been sore today. I think it's just some allergy crap. Okay, starting out with the old 1911. I'm going to pop around out. Okay, that looks like the audio should be balanced well enough. Okay, this looks like some type of uh, landing pad or teleporter pad. Since we know nothing about this, let's just go ahead and go in for the quick revive. Can't get a feel. So I, when it says Kino style, I don't know if that means that the full on the layout of this overall. Whoa, was that just barrier? Yeah. Okay, and that's not there. Um, I don't know. Like, I don't know what kind of shield. Are... Okay, there we go. So the barriers, a lot of these will probably be that same style. And then this is back here. So to unlock that, let me just real quick start back at the top of this. So first things first, on every uh, category on here, we got to get the uh, the power on. That's kind of a kind of a given. I do not like the recoil of this 1911. Yeah, look, it, feel, it feels like I've shot quite a few 1911s in my career, and something about this just feels really wonky. Uh, okay, let's see. Where's our counter at? Okay, yeah, I'm, my face cam's not blocking nothing, so we're good on that front. 1250. Okay, we didn't really have a lot in terms of ammunition. It's like our first weapons that we have access to is probably going to be inside these... <clears throat> these areas because I don't go and do this just to take and get a couple extra points because I mean I feel like this even though we do have the walkthrough uh, kind of like a description of it we still got to 
find our way through the map, get a feel for it, and uh, and stuff. So like the video will probably be over an hour long. So this whole center section is just sectioned off. Wait, okay, wait, what is this? This is the Beretta 93R. I think I would rather wait and uh, go for a long gun. Like we'll do some more porn, porn, not porn. We'll be uh, doing some more point optimization here in a minute. I just want to kind of make sure I have a couple of these rounds in the chamber so if something kind of pushes me into a weird spot I know what I'm doing I'm very curious to see what uh, the, the custom boss is because just as far as like keep it in line with the call of the uh, call of the dead call, no wait uh, the walking dead by god I've not had any I've not had any black bean juice yet so we gotta get some this in the system before I flip and forget how to speak All that right there, it just immediately warms your soul. Okay. Yep. Still, though, God, I wish we had a zombie kill counter. Well, that's even better. It's only round two, so they can only they can only take so much damage. Okay, we're on three. Now, what is this? The EBR-14 for 600. And then if we look up in the sky, the mystery box is this direction. Ooh, that's kind of a tough one. I feel like this EBR is going to be like a one-shot to the noggin for a, a decent bit, despite the fact that it's pretty, you know, inexpensive. Also, let's go over here and figure out. Okay, here we go. We got 300 points there. And we'd be able to take and get a get a nice little collection. Wait, what does that say? You must turn on the power first. Okay. No clue what that is. Because the, where this map is kind of dark in this outside area, I mean, there's probably be some lights that'll come on, hopefully. Um, but it's very difficult to uh, see. Okay, we have to turn on. Wait, god dang it. Did not see what that said. I just want to get some of these guys on the line so I can take full advantage of these 45 ACP blats. God dang it, they don't just hit me with the old slap train right off the beginning here. Jesus Christ, that's a little bit too close for comfort here, boys. Like, Carl! Don't get hit, Carl! This is a really nice outside area. I mean, there is a lot of cutoff points. Um, and with the interior of the building, I'm... I'm when it says Kino style, I mean, that's going to be like a, a staging area, which in a warehouse this big, there could easily be, you know, like a, a staging area, loading dock. Okay, this thing has no recoil whatsoever. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and get this. That way I'm going to go over to this tight spot and see if, uh, open door must turn on power first. Okay, that's 1250. Oh, okay, yeah, that yeah, right there looks big and open. Here, that's the Olympia. Got these dark. Hold on, never mind. It's a semi truck. Okay, forklift, pool table. Always down to shoot some pool, bro. What's this? You must turn the power on first. I don't understand. Oh, never mind. That's just a different perk machine. That right there looked like some type of power apparatus. Here, all this is power. Okay, so, probably should have waited. This was 12, so I could have two times, yeah. Probably wouldn't have been a bad idea, because now they're, now they're starting to get a little bit of speed underneath their toes. Okay, yeah, and this area is not as open as I thought it was. Well, I got cut off. Okay, I'm very p-nannered right now that I just went down. That right there has got to be one of the dumbest ways to go down, but I got to make sure that I get... Uh, points from this. I just don't know where I'm going. And now, obviously, I don't have quick revive, so that's a 500 point hit to the gut. And it's a good idea. I'm going to go ahead and go out here and uh, rectify that little whoopsie daisy, you know. 
Yeah, see, that wouldn't have happened if I probably would have just waited and then got a better uh, a weapon. Like that AK-74U in there. But I feel like when we got that max ammo, that really uh, helped a lot in the uh, in the fact that, you know, we didn't. If it wasn't for that one little round coffee-looking table right here to our left, that's what we got hung on. We just got squeezed in just enough. I mean, that right there, it, and it's even, it's more drastic. Like, there's kind of a an invisible area right there. So that's the thing about custom zombies, all y'all know, is, uh, okay, this is a very tight spot okay we got, i'm trying to figure out there's a catwalk up there oh wait here we go Ooh, what was there's a green light right here the other doors had green lights yeah okay boom and i'm not i'm not seeing any power indicating lights either that's a barrier That looks like a box location. Oh, I forgot because it said it had the mantling in here too. That door needs a key. That would have been really nice to have, you know, that like half a second where we was getting bent over. 1250 1000 Okay, had a radio going ham right there. The zombies blood like in these dark areas. Oh, look at that. We found. It. Yeah, in these dark areas the zombies blood makes it even harder to see what's going on. Okay. So we know mule kicks chilling there. I've not seen Jug yet. It's an AK-47. Oh, dude, we can buy that, which we might probably should. Oh, tits. Here's another one. Yes. Okay, yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna say for safety reasons we're gonna buy the AK because it should hit plenty hard, but we'll get back outside to our main stage. Oh, there's Judd. God titties. Okay. I think when we turn the power on it might open up that one uh, door to the outside here. That so we, we can just loop back through and didn't have to like we not have to waste a thousand. Okay, to enter the code, so I, I think that's part of like one of the main or mid level Easter eggs. Okay, yeah, so now this door is open and Jug is available there. I'm just, I'm a little curious as to why they would say this is a Kino-style map. I don't know if it's because, if they consider this to be like a stage area. I mean, this is a large area, but I mean, I don't know the spawn points really, so it's kind of hard to... Oh, yeah, we got, we got the... Okay, this AK has a very low rate of fire, and it does not feel... What is that? Oh, my wiener! Okay, well, that's the boss guy. So that looks like uh, Negan, I reckon. Well, I'm dicked. I'm going down again. Okay. Well... That seems a bit OP. Where'd he go? How the heck do you kill him? Wait, so wait. Is that our last one we can have? Or I think we can get one more, right? Bro, god dang it. Bro, I better get like a free perk or something if I all this goes down. Hey, am I not even getting points? God dang it, there we go. Okay, 
Okay, so we got his bat. Oh, I thought I was invincible. That was on me. I thought it was like, hey, we got a power up. It's a bat. Well, maybe, uh... Since it has, like, negative... God dang. Okay, well, let's go get Jug before we can fall over again. So, that was... He, he came on round five. So... He's a boss, and then now I guess we also got dogs. Yeah, and like just regular dogs makes a lot of sense because I mean, it's just it's zombie dogs. Yeah, I'm glad we got the AK, because that would have went a whole lot worse if we had just had the EBR. But now, uh, let's see. So, turn uh, for back much. Enter the code of the entrance of the factory. The numbers are next to candles uh, that have the same coordinate color. I've not seen a single goddamn candle. So, we'll have to look for that in a second. Candles. So like it says, enter the co- <clears throat> They're next to candles. Okay. And so we'll be looking for a red, a blue, and a yellow candle. Okay, at least they're not full on, like, you know, sprinting yet. And just getting a little- Getting a little fast feeded on us. Yeah, I feel like the weapons, because like, for it to be only round six, I know these are just wall weapons, but they they, they feel kind of underpowered. Normally the EBR, like you're able to get like one one shot headshots pretty consistently. Um, so that's a little that's a little different. But at least we'll be able to get the points from, from this EBR. Like, we've definitely made our points back. And then, you know, we'll, we'll go in here and buy the box. Hopefully, we just we don't have to open up, like, a bunch of other doors. Because we're going to need a ray gun or something to, uh, to deal with the Negan situation. Because I know he's going to be back. I thought I could probably kill these and get a free 400. But I don't think that's going to happen. Nice. And I could be wrong because we've not really traveled super far away from any, uh, you know, one little bit of zombies, but it doesn't seem like they're, it's doing the thing to where they consistently spawn in front of you. And I've got to down this big thing of coffee right here before it gets cold. Like, the stuff I got in my thermos, obviously, I can just do it for death. Perception makes the player see zombies through walls. Ah. You do not have a fuse, okay. Nice. Okay, you know what? That's a handy thing to have, but I would like a weapon, please. Okay, MP5, not bad. So we got an AK and MP5. That's better, and we need to kind of conserve our points. What was that? Okay, something's making a noise. Over that direction. God, this is such a dark. So many, I mean, there's so many, like, dark little corners. Okay, so, I guess now, you know, we're going to take and uh, play this map right and figure this out together. Because it's not really telling you, like, where exactly everything is. It's just telling you that, uh, I'm also surprised we haven't found a shield part yet. Just by, you know, touching things. Okay, wait. That's a candle. 
Eight. And is that blue? God, this is going to make me sound stupid, but I'm going to uh, probably be a good idea to write this down. I don't think i got a way to write it down. So, um, okay, now I'll just go. Just watch me just click on something that closes out everything. Wouldn't that be phenomenal? Do, do, do. I swear to God, I've got a really good memory, but it's like when I'm doing this with the commentary involved, the second I say that, I'll just forget what it was. So, we got blue eight. And then let's just see if there's any. Okay, wait, have we been over there? So wait, blue eight. So that means there's probably, we ain't gonna have enough for this door. Oh, shoot. Just gotta watch out for this little leg biter in here, too. Boo -doo -boo. Yeah, so none of these are giving me an option to, to buy them, so, to buy the door. And that's blue, yeah. Wait. Come back once all eight bears have been shot. Now, see, normally the bear stuff has to do with music. Can we come in this way? Is it separate? Jesus Christ, how many... This is confusing where it's so dark. But I like it. You gotta have a little bit of a challenge, you know? Okay. Blue eight. I'm just really wanting to... I'm just trying to go back through here and make sure that I'm not... Missing any candle because that candle right there beside that TV is like I I probably would have you know the number itself would have stood out to me well before the fact that there was just a candle there. Okay, I feel like maybe there'll be one near Jug. Okay, this is the part right across from it. Oh, okay, we got okay. That's the shield part for sure. Oh, what did that say? You build a barrier. Ooh, we got a PKM for three Gs. That right there, that's a nice little guarantee. We all know that having a uh, LMG seems to be the way to go in custom zombies. Did we even, we didn't get a chance to do that, did we? Nope. Well, I mean, you know, for there to be a candle somewhere, it would need to be somewhat visible, I would think. And for there to be a candle out here in your main running area, that seems a little... Like, that doesn't seem like it makes a lot of a sense, but, you know, I mean, it's custom zombies, so it could be whatever it wants to be, you know? Okay, yeah, and our, uh, our quick revive is gone, which really makes me scared. I almost feel like just going ahead and closing it out and restarting over, just because if we get pretty much everything done and then go down again... Like, I know we have our Quick Revive in our pocket right now, so we can use that, so I guess, for this. Okay. Oh, I didn't... Okay, so there's got to be some stuff up this direction. I know I've seen this catwalk and stuff over here, but I didn't... I couldn't tell if it was, like, actually uh, accessible or not, because I couldn't see them stairs. Okay, well, never mind. So it takes us to a beautiful place called Nowhere. Okay, no parts back here. Oh, okay, we got another catwalk. So, I mean, unless zombies can just constantly, like, drop down from different areas, I could see this being useful. Or if you just wanted to go with, like, the old school catwalk strategy, but then they can probably hop up on these corners. So I know this is probably like the, the this one of those like uninteresting parts of the video, but at least now we like we know what the candles look like. The question is where are the fuzzy little the fuzzy little fellas? Because I don't think they would be in the 
inside any windows or anything. We've also not found any fuses, so. That there's a conundrum all in and of itself. Okay, that's just for the double tap root beer. Okay, well. So it's got to be putting them... God, I feel like we've just about covered everywhere already. Because there's only we've only found one bedroom, so if you have a utility key, unless that's something Negan has to drop. Oh, tits. Come on now. I guess we didn't really get to give this... I wish I had a flashlight I could turn on. Wait to place weapon. Oh, okay, so if you want to play with your buddies, there's a trade table right there. Can't really see good down here at all. Work hard and play by the rules. Today, everybody gets fresh vegetables at dinner. No oh, okay, here we go. So this is yellow. We provide security to others. Okay, so yellow is either six or nine. So, I mean, I guess, in theory, I don't know, like, what it does, if, like, with the resetting of the numbers, because it doesn't say, but it's like, I guess we could take now and, like, just do the combination and then just keep putting, like, one in. Uh, yellow. Oh, okay. I'm just going to go ahead and open this, because... Which is, so we need the red one. I don't know which area would be considered what. Because I just seen this one, it actually said a minute ago, but it wouldn't have helped me anyways because I don't know which is which. But it says red found on a table in the left side of factory. To my understanding, I mean this whole complex is a factory if I'm not completely wrong. But, uh... This just looks kind of like a power area, so I, I would think that the factory is this area over here. And it seemed like this room, is that safe factory or something? Okay, yellow. We're going to start with six and see what that does. Up, up, I see it. Okay, that's two, so I ain't even got to write that down. Here we go. Maybe this was a nine? Nice! So it was a nine. Uh, this will open a nearby shed with a max ammo inside. A wrench can be collected inside also. A nearby shed. Oh. Got a wrench. Uh, then, with this wrench, turn three valves around the map. Right side inside factory. Right of Juggernog. Opposite of Speed Cola. Okay, so. I've already got the COD knowledge up here running enough to wear. Ouch. Oh, hello. What is hitting me? Did you grow legs? Okay, I don't know where the second one come from. Valve. Is this a valve? Yes. God, I just hate that, like, how low I am on points right now because I feel, and my weapons are sucking trash too. I mean, it's only round seven, but that Negan character is, uh, ridiculously strong. Okay, and then I uh, vaguely will just have to figure out how to get to... I think with the speed call, it's, it's easier to go this way to the left. 
all the uh, all the darkness of the damned is what makes traversing this uh, route here more difficult. And here we go. Cause like this is probably turning off the gas that's in front of the pack a punch. Okay, now we can get Daryl's crossbow, which is the wonder weapon. I think we need that. If we could do that before Daryl gets healed, that'd be amazing. And it's got these locations listed, so we're still going to have to figure them out because I don't know what all these places are called, and we don't have anything with magnification. So, uh, shoot eight teddy bears, uh, back right corner of spawn outside map. I don't know what that means because I wasn't paying attention to... There's what because we, we were spawned this direction, I thought. Let's see if it's... It's probably over here. I guarantee some of you watching have probably already seen it. And they're like yelling at me. I've got good eyesight. I just don't know what... Hey, is it on the ground? Is it up high? Okay, let's try it. Let's go over here real quick where the... Because it might be like something to where, you know, you can see it underneath the tractor trailer. It's just... Your right and left is, uh, you know, not always a super consistent... God, titties, bro. This is always a frustrating thing. It's just like the... It's like, I, you always appreciate when somebody does a guide, you know, but it's like, at least, if it's not, like, really specific, then it can literally have you looking in the right area, but at the wrong place. Okay, under the staircase to the left of entrance of factory. Okay. Okay, and two, I hope we don't do all this and then it just not work. Left of lantern in the factory. Oh, near the, near the AK-74 you walk by, so... See, I feel like a lot of these in these areas would have probably already gotten hit. This is the lantern. Okay. Left of lantern in the factory to the right. Okay, so that's what I'm saying. So this one's to the right, and it's got to be to the left of the lantern. Let's just do this. Oh, there it is. Well, we got it. I don't even know how you're supposed to see that unless you are reading this. 
Uh, underneath staircase to the left of Juggernog. Jesus Christ, they have to run around every time. Oh, yes, sir. We get in here and we can crack into Da Vinci Code. But did it say, uh... Can't be these. Wait, I think that's it. Yep. Make sure I, I give them a good dose of lead, you know? Okay, underneath the. Okay, on the balcony to the left of Electric Cherry. On the balcony to the left of Electric Cherry. Uh, that's out here. Okay, there's that. I wish it gave some type of indication once you've done it. In the distance to the left of Deadshot on a rooftop. Okay, we we'll have to go around. This is where having a weapon with an optic on it would be ideal. Let me take and uh, turn my brightness up a little bit and see if it looks like horrible. Okay, I think that might be a little bit better. Okay. Uh, inside power room within mechanical core and center of the room. Okay. Okay, I think we just got lucky and found that one right away. Um, on the left corner, on the left corner of the rooftop to the left of Speed Cola. I think that's this way. I feel like I've kind of got a good idea of the map now. But wait, hang on. It seems like this area too was also the place where once we do it, there will be something where it's like, come back. Because the door will now open in the block building where you can grab the crossbow. That seems to be in here somewhere, I think. Okay. But we got to figure out the speed call, and then we're going to go back and figure out the, uh, the one with the thing so yeah this one said on the left corner of the rooftop to the left of speed cola aha God dang it. Okay, because we've done this somehow, and then we come back out over here, maybe? Yeah, this would take 20 years to just do all this, figuring out step by step where it's so dark. Like, you just have to get lucky with some things. Has the door already opened? I just feel like normally there's always a prompt of some sort. Well, we'll find it in a minute. Still Negan. Okay, wait, right here. This feels... Okay, come back once you shot. Okay. So, if we go back out here and we'll do look for this first one again... Because we have been lighting teddy bears up like no tomorrow.
I might have been looking too high. So it's like, when it says back right corner spawn, something to me says this. So it must be maybe just like right... God dang it, let me see. If I need to cut this part out, I will. Let me just go back and see if there's a god dang video. No, there's not. God dang it. Bro, okay, I just scrolled all the way down. It says, after doing the colored numbers, you also need to go uh, in the shed and pick up a wrench to find three red valves and turn these pack-a-punches open. You need a pack-a-punch gun to shoot the teddy bears. God dang it. Well, I don't know. If it just skipped a lot, then that means that uh, I went around and shot all these teddy bears before I went to the bottom and something that hadn't been added at one point was that um, you need to use a pack-a-punch weapon. So at least now we kind of have an idea where they're at except for the one over here to the far right outside the map. I have no goddamn clue where that fuzzy little... Chihoyant is, so we'll have to, uh, I don't know, just have to figure something out, so. We got monkeys, let's just hopefully the Negan fella doesn't show up again. I gotta get pee here in a minute, too. Because I could it, it didn't, the first time that Negan come, it didn't really make a sound. Or it, I might have just not noticed it, but. And I'm trying to decide what I should do about a pack-a-punch gun. I feel like this AK would be really good pack-a-punched. Um, I don't know if it'd be better to, to go for like an LMG, you know, like hit the box a couple more times. Okay, well, just defy physics, brother. Just gotta be careful because we still you have no clue where all these little blind spots are. Like the invisible things that we could get hung up on. Okay, well, we are getting plenty of max ammo, so that's for sure. And I highly doubt it, but it is always possible that Negan might also follow the, the monkey thing or, or kind of cause him to freeze in place because sometimes bosses that, you know, that is a thing that happens with them. Okay, so by the end of this round, we should be able to pack a punch. Let's go over here and make sure that it is available, and it is. I'm still back right corner of the spawn. See, now if you spawn this way, back right could also mean over here. That's the thing that's getting me. And because of them headlights over there, you can't flip and see Jack. Oh, hello. Oh, he whistled. That's what he did. So I'm thinking if I don't shoot him, then he won't run at me. So if we can... Get down to one zombie so I don't have to worry about getting careened in somewhere. Oh, 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 oh. Did not think about him being behind me. Because we can also have a pack-a-punch gun. 
which will make knocking him down a few sizes a lot easier. Because I don't think he can teleport. Oh, and do we got? Oh, and we got a noob too. Let's go, brothers. We made it. We made a good choice. Okay. I don't know. Wait, do we got any crawlers? Do we get any crawlers from the? God dang it. Oh my goodness. Good. God dang it, bro. Why does that zombie have to be right up in her business? God dang it, why is he so strong? That is a very annoying reoccurring boss right here. Okay, boom. Need to give us a better deal than this crappy bat as well. Or at least make it to where we can block or swing with it more. You're like, let's see if we can block with it. Like, because whenever we hold up our left trigger, I think that's what it's meant to do, but... Nope. Cause yeah, it's weird. it doesn't even like offer any protection or, or block from the side, and you have to be right on top of them. This is not a good power drop. I'd much rather have a mini gun or something. But I mean, now after this, we'll have the crossbow. But hopefully, the crossbow's more uh, more useful than that bat. <laughs> Okay, noob tube's not too shabby. Doesn't seem to have like a stupid uh, splash damage range. Okay, we got that insta kill so we can pop off with the MP5. I'm not even going to get that. Alright, already down to the tail end of things. Yeah, we'll get we'll let this go away and then we'll see if we can blow his tootsie wootsies off. And then we'll go back around to these teddy bears. Nice. But yeah, let's go back here too and just double check this one again. it said outside of the map normally like the ones that they put in spawn tend to be like the the easier one to find because they kind of be like oh well they'll probably find that one first and then because all the other ones say you know, like on a rooftop or something so let's just see now if we uh back right corner of the spawn outside the map we got under the staircase i kind of remember these just to make sure i still do them in order Okay, that's one. Two. Juggernaut, okay, let's go to Jug. This mean we suffered trying to flip and find these things. So now, okay, now we know we get auditory and visual feedback. That's the biggest help. Let's go back out here real quick so we know we done jug last. 
the back right corner outside the map. It's got it's got to be. It's, just, it's them headlights. Back right corner. You sounded a lot closer right there for some reason. Um, because all this is inside the map. I'm just going to be so mad if this thing has been staring me in the face this whole time. Okay, well, anyway, screw it. So after Jug, the balcony to Electric Cherry. I'm trying to remember the best way to get there. You can throw, yeah, this one. Shot inside the power room. Uh, on the left, the rooftop speaker. Okay, now we got to get to the power room. I've somehow just completely forgotten how to get to the power room. Oh, here we go. Okay, well that's all of them except for our fine friend. Dude, I'm gonna lose my mind. This is ridiculous. There's no, there's no video. There's no. Just everything inside me is screaming. It's over on this side of the map. Okay, well, all that's just people complaining about random stuff. Um, oh, wait, here, okay, here might be a video, guys, so. Okay, yeah, I'm going to end this recording right here and go pee and then watch this and I'll be right back. Or just figure out where this one bear is and then we'll be, I'll be right back. Alrighty, so we are picking it right back up. I know where this teddy bear is, and i just seen a little bit of information about some of the other fuses things, because I would like to get the fuses and do that. I'm going to take my thermos of coffee here, just pour us a little bit. That way we ain't got to chug down this whole uh, 
giant stein sized thing usually made for some of the old uh, grown up apple juice <clears throat> I just hide when we put it in so I still could not get a phenomenal idea it looks like it was it is this one over here somewhere and where we've noob tubed and stuff so many times I don't know how something hadn't registered for this but I think it's right there yep alrighty so that should be all that. Now, I, I still don't even know. I, with the video, I, I just that's one part I went to was like uh, what the that teddy bear location. Um, so now we got to you know do that thing where we run through this area 57 times until we find the room, the door, the whatever it is that. Okay, I think it's this one over here. Am I wrong? Am I right? Okay, or something. Ah, come on, work with me. But yeah, so with the zombies' blood thing, we, uh, we have to use that to find a fuse, um, because like it'll only show up in one of these corpses. Because I like these corpses that I'm seeing that uh, you have to do this with. Um, they do. They they did kind of st stand out to me, so. Bro, oh my god, this is so frustrating. This, this layout is not that complicated, uh, this building, but it's just where it's got this zigzag pattern. It's like impossible to keep track of the exact. Uh... Could have swore it was like down through here. Because there's, is there a different section of the block? Let's do this. I feel like I found it when I went in this side. Oh wait, this this is it. I thought this was the other one. Okay, so now let's see what it says going back. I know I could watch the video, but um Because the, fu the fuse thing is like an end, like that, I'm pretty sure is like boss fight and an end game situation. So we still need to get perks and all that good old stuff, and I'd like to do the shield. But I'm going to go back to the text version, that way we don't, um, that way it's not too easy. Okay, boom, shield build at the base of the exterior concrete stairs at the front of the main building. Okay, wait. Okay, and let's see what this thing does. Also, let's see. We got enough to pack a punch it. Um, but we probably should get speed cola. I don't know. I think we'll be fine. We can get speed cola later. Doo -doo -doo. Um, so, yeah. Shield. Just so, uh, one of the bins opposite the free max ammo shed uh, in front of the white container over by stamina up. To the left of a table opposite the EBR wall by. Okay, so it sounds like a lot of this stuff is near the, uh... Oh, no, this is just where this one thing could be. So which one did we have? We had the, uh... We got the dolly. So this is only a two-part one. So the dolly at the base of the stairs leading up to... What was that sound? Um... So, yeah, we got the dolly. We need the door. Concrete stairs at the base. Okay, I mean, I think that's the only one it could be. Like, that's it. So, on a set of bins opposite the free max ammo shed. Set of bins. Okay, um... In front of a white container over by Stamina Up. And there it is. Sweet. Okay. This will make it a lot safer for whenever uh, Negan comes back. Because we won't have to worry as much about uh, him catching up to us. Because whenever we turn around, that'll cover our backside a bit.
Okay, so this thing's very, it's just, it's highly explosive. Uh, it says Wonder Weapon, so I'm going to take that as in that better mean this thing's going to flip and make Negan fly across the map whenever he tries to screw with us. That looks dope, but we only got 15 rounds. That's a little, can I inspect it? I cannot, unfortunately. Okay, well, good to know. So now the next objective really is to perk up, and then we can do the fuse thing. If we get a, uh, a blood, uh, zombie's blood, then we'll go around because it's like, it's these dudes that, oh, look like they're, you know, just like begging on the street corner. They could be holding it. It's a good timing though with the with the max and the dogs because like we uh, we're pretty low on the totem pole. I mean with this Daryl crossbow thing, like the splash damage must be pretty spectacular. Like as far as you know, like being able to reach out. So like we have a full train. This thing should hopefully you know eradicate. Yeah, because I'm pretty sure now, like, everything is done. We got the shield, we got that, we got the crossbows, so now, yeah, it's just blood fuse, uh, crane fuse, we have to have electric tray for that anyways, furnace fuse killed Negan and used the Lucifer bat that he drops to break the wooden barrier. Okay, I know what, I, I know the barrier, uh, because it, I thought it looked kind of funny too. So, Speed Cola, Double Tap, Electric Cherry, that is the next on the agenda. I'm just got, oh, don't get that. I'm just glad we haven't had any other issues with uh, going down because, you know, we're on our last, or I guess our second to last life technically because we get one more go round of it. But yeah, I think upgrading the AK was smart, got like a smart choice. Also, too, before we do the boss fight and everything, we need to uh, probably get stamina up as well. I thought it said something about free, like, free perks. I know there's a free perkaholic after you do, like, the main Easter egg, but that doesn't really help us that much. Oh yeah, because it says uh, head to the teleporter at spawn to initiate a holdout. And upon completion, you will receive a perkaholic and the ability to escape. But I mean, it kind of sounds like if you're going to be, you know, dealing with the holdout type thing, then you need to, uh... I'm actually going to go ahead and get uh, stamina up that way. That... We need Negan for the furnace fuse, because it says kill Negan and use a Lucille to collect the gold bar inside, acquire... And pack a punch Daryl's crossbow, then shoot it into to the right furnace within the factory and place the gold within. Return two rounds later to collect the key from inside and um, head to the left of Deadshot Daiquiri and mantle the sandbags to unlock a door, collect the fuse, place the fuse in the factory, soul collector, and fill with soul. Oh, wait, we got... Man, well, okay, look, let me, let, me, let me take this. If we got to do all this soul filling stuff, considering how long this video is probably going to be, I know that... I don't have an issue with like doing longer custom zombies videos, but at a certain point they seem to uh, start to get just a little bit excessively long for most people's uh, preference. Okay, there he is. Nice, nice to meet you, buddy. But yeah, like, you know what? Like, let's just go with the flow right now, because. Okay, so now let's do this. We're not, I don't remember where all of them are. I just know these two homies. Yes, thank you, he's got it. So, like, the blood fuse, get a blood fuse, uh, possible. Let's 
Soul Collector just outside the factory entrance. Where is that? Soul Collector just outside of Factory Entrance. Okay, well, let's do this now. Let's see how good this thing is. Okay, this thing kind of sucks, not gonna lie. Oh, maybe not. So it's unlimited ammo. Is that what I'm seeing here? Okay, okay, okay. Liking it a lot more now. Okay, but I don't understand what Soul Collector is right outside the factory entrance. Oh, wait, 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 wait. I was thinking there might be one. Content. I've run into these things over and over again. I wish I had these areas labeled, you know, so that... Wait, this one? You do not have this fuse. Okay, so this is the furnace fuse. I swear to God, some of this labeling and stuff is just... Because I thought this right here would be considered the entrance to the block area. Oh wait, is that it? Or was that... I can't, I can't tell if that was a rebuild a barrier... Nice. There we go. Now you boy here can focus a little easier. Because I'm afraid, I guess I could go ahead and break down the, the door to have access to the fuse. But it's like, I kind of thought I knew the names of these areas because of uh, what was going down. Let's go ahead and get Electric Cherry, and then we can get Speed Cola. Okay, this is a crane fuse. But my point is, I, so I know what these soul collectors look like, and I'm just not. I've got to be, like, staring. Oh, there it is. Okay, well, yep. Okay, so we can collect souls in that, and now let's go see what we can do with this Negan fella.
His whistle's not now. He's now it's not lining up with where he's at. Oh. Let me just make sure I know what I'm talking about, or I think I know what I'm talking about. The wood thing, the wood thing, the wood thing. Furnace fuse. Okay, yeah, the wooden bar the wooden barrier in the factory. It looks like they've done a good job, uh, you know, with his the character model or whatever they you want to call it. So this one will be super easy to do. Okay, yeah, and right here's the wooden barrier. Okay, so does the wonder weapon not work on him at all? That's a bummer. Oh. Okay. That was actually super easy with stamina up. Okay, so now, collect the gold bar, acquire and pack a punch, Daryl's crossbow, then shoot it into the right furnace within the factory. I still don't know which one of these is factory or not. I, I don't know. Now this makes sense being a wonder weapon because it's infinite. That's a generator, not a furnace. So I'm aware of that, but I don't know. You, n you never know if the people making it is, is aware of such things. This has got to be the factory. I guess I'll make sure I can't hurt myself. It's... Collect the gold bar inside. Acquire and pack a bunch of arrows. Crossbow. Then shoot into the into the right furnace in the factory and place the gold within. Yeah, I mean this whole building is a factory. That's what confuses me. Just so we're not running around wasting crap ton of time, I'd take and refer to that video once again just to see uh, what it is. Because like, I don't want to just run around looking for a god dang furnace and like pass it 57 times. Because normally a furnace is, you know, a larger, uh... wait, is this it? There it is. It's just so dark, bro, you can't see. So, yeah, the furnace two rounds later, collect the key from inside, the dead shot daiquiri, the sandbags, the door, collect the fuse. Okay, so now that, that's that got to be doing its thing anyway, so we can be collecting souls in this. We just got to wait for our old uh, no-legged friend to show himself. We're doing good. I mean, like obviously, we read. Uh, we're we're kind of reading the uh, the step by step here. But to complete this,
I mean, I mean, if we get to the point where we have to do like the hold off stronghold, whatever it's called, and we die, then I, I really ain't gonna be that upset. I'd just be happy to get to that point uh, of the map itself. Because this is like a really well done map. So big kudos to those involved in its creation. Okay, so these guys have to be pretty close to it. So I'm going to get them on the map and then we're going to throw a monkey there. The good old monkey see, monkey do routine. They can only handle so much at one time. Yeah, we gotta have two rounds go by anyways. And the ammo's holding out great on the AK, too, so I was really glad to see that, you know, you got a lot of uh, ammo storage. So, I mean, it does seem to take a good, a decent little handful of souls per this. Like, it's just going to be harder on some of those that are on the inside. Okay, okay, so it's definitely worth charging this thing up. I'm just, I wonder, like, how long does it remain being, like, you know, this solid of a wonder weapon against the actual zombies? Oh, okay, yeah, we gotta watch your zombie shield. It doesn't seem to have, like, the same color indications as it tends to do, so... But if anything, though, we can try to have our zombie shield broken this round, get a new one, uh, we'll be able to perk up more. I'm going to see if I can pack a punch again to get uh, maybe like a, a, you know, a death effect on this bad boy. I'm still debating on whether or not I should buy that 3,000 PKM because since we got stamina up, I think, you know, we don't have to really worry about the mobility and we at that point we wouldn't have to worry about ammo. So... Okay, so yeah, it's done. So what, the crane fuse get electric cherry, then reload next to the red switch in the speed cola area for a box to drop and grab the fuse, place in soul collector inside the building nearby. Okay. That one sounds pretty easy. hits that I just do. <laughs> Here we go. Get electric trade, then reload next to the red switch in the speed call area. Okay. That's an interesting little that's an interesting little uh, mechanic there. Supposed to be one of those things nearby here. 
God dang, this one's gonna be stupid to do. I'm not even going to remember how to... Okay, wait, yes I am. So this is our main area. So we'll just train them. Come in here to the left. To the right. I already lost again. So sorry, no, we just shoot straight. Turn left here. Bring them in. Nice. Just gotta make sure we don't get trapped in here with Negan. The only gun! Okay, these will be a couple of quick, easy soul collections. God dang, we can jump scare quality over here with this left side. God dang it, this is a tight spot. Do 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 I gotta answer a text message really fast. Oop, sorry. Twas me woman. Twas me blonde haired woman. Oh, nice. You can inspect the AK. I like that. Okay, I hear Negan. God dang, of course, that pussy's got to show up now. I just don't want to risk like running into him face to face. Um, okay, yeah, because these guys have got the uh, oh, they got that Blitzkrieg energy going right now. Because I don't know now. now that I think about, it, I don't know how I'm gonna like safely re-rotate through the map. God, oh, dick, I just done something. Yeah, I don't want the round to be over yet if I can help it. Because there should be enough left on the map to... I would just like to know where this man's walking, though. That would... Oh, okay, okay, so my zombie shield just now, yeah, it's changed to yellow. So it's still, it's like half health. They try to get an idea of... Oh, okay, there he is. Okay, well, at least we know where he's at now. Okay, this thing looks full. Okay. So 
So we got to get the block of gold. Oh, I mean, that's how we get the utility room key. We get that and we put it in the thing near that and then we call it good. thing has started to lose some of its luster here. I think that PKM is calling my name. Something about having an LMG with all that ammo capacity and just, you know, the time in between having to reload since we have a uh, speed cola. I think I can do this. I think. And what do we get? Okay, we got the, with the wall of thunder thing, whichever one that is. So yeah, we'll stand, I mean, yeah, stamina up. Mobility is phenomenal. I mean, we got 300 round belt. Uh, and then it's like, yeah, over like a thousand rounds total of that on the side. So like, this is, this is like the way to go. So yeah, I mean, yeah, if you charge it up, you can pretty much kill like a whole train almost. I know the key card, and then the question is, I think it's right here near the thing uh, also, like the electric, the uh, clip, and I just hope it's not like in one of these random corners right here, okay. Okay, so I got this, and then it says, so get electric cherry, Inside the building nearby. Wait, was it one in here? Okay, well now I do not remember... Oh, this one. Okay, yeah. I mean, I feel like monkeys is going to be a big, uh, a big help with this one. I want to go ahead and try to get Negan out of the way real quick. We got this, uh, we got this LMG, so I think we can do a little bit more than just hurt his feelings. Okay, every soul counts, but while we wait for that crawler, let's see if I can get a thumbnail out of this. The LMG is just so god dang big, bro. Nice. Making magic happen. I do, I hear zero crawler sounds. God, I wish the god dang, I, swear, I wish there was a way you could break your 
Zombie shield. Dead shot there. Might, might as well. Probably wouldn't be a bad idea either to go up here and grab PhD. That's what I'm saying. It's like in order to get ready for like a boss fight or something like this, even if you like, you know, you're going to get a perkaholic. Um, and that's cool and all, but. The way that design right there on that railing is, it like wants to throw you off the back end. The only other one's like where you can see the zombies through the wall, and that one doesn't really seem that uh, useful or beneficial on a map like this. But I mean, Deadshot, Daiquiri, and Double... Oh, wait, we ain't got Double Tap. That's yeah, that's that's a big one, bro. Now, this thing, this whole time, I've been thinking I had Double Tap, where I've had this LMG, and it was doing that type of damage. But now with this, it's all over for the crying. All over for the crying. All over but the crying. <laughs> now, I doubt we can Tiger Punch this again. Don't really, you know, I have no clue what that would even begin to offer up as far as an advantage, but. Okay, because it seems like this thing's starting to weaken. I mean, we're not even on 20 yet. We're just teetering right around it. I mean, we should, if we can time it right without getting, uh, you know, getting ourselves pinched up somewhere. Should be able, or should pretty easily be able to fill up this soul collector. My thing is, I'm just trying to think based off of what I know about the layout and the few things I've took a mental note of that you can get hung up on inside this building. Because um, all these guys are going to get here. And then once they get up on us, we have plenty of stuff. So we can, I guess we can bust out this left side. Go back, go back. Bro, the SPKM is the the gun. I think it's full. Okay, I guess the only way to know if it's full is if we go to the teleporter and ask us to initiate to initiate the lockdown process. We got tons of ammo. We've got a wonder weapon. I say we do it. See if it'll lock us in at round. Oh, this is not the type of lockdown I had in mind. Oh, we don't have a good shield. That's what's going to hurt us. Okay, they, don't, they don't seem to respect the uh, the laws of the monkey. Oh yeah, my shield is red. I'm not sure if this is a timed event. Okay, use this as our moment to reload. to kill gladly this is probably only like meant to be like a two minute lockdown or something but it feels like it's taken my entire life you know what I mean I'm like, sorry the commentary is probably super weak right now but I cannot 
not, I cannot talk because I'm so focused up on, oh, this is where things could go bad because I don't have my shield now. Nice! God dang it, we did it. Okay, well, look at that, bro. We done it. I thought there was going to be like a different, like more of a boss fight or something in conjunction with that. But now to end the game is only 25,000 points. We're super close to that. So let's just go ahead and do it to it. I, I do not like this perk. That, like, that, there's some maps and some occasions where it can be useful. Um, like that one, one of the last customs I actually played during that last fight whenever those barriers and stuff started popping up in front of you. In that situation, it was kind of handy to have that. But uh, otherwise, like, it's kind of just in the way. So we'll probably have one more little uh, brush in with old Nagan. And then we should be good to go. So I don't know exactly, but it looks like this video is probably going to end up being around somewhere around the hour, 45 minute mark, two hour mark. Um, so yeah, anybody that's not already let me know, you know, just what, any feedback you guys would like to uh, hit me up with. Like once you have a death effect and elemental pop, you get like so many different things. Just some of the death effects doesn't really contribute to your uh, financial your financial status. So right, we might. It's really weird to say this, but out of having almost a thousand rounds of this thing, we might end up coming close to running out. Like we only need a couple more runs of kills. We're just letting all the bullets fly. You know, got that U.S. defense budget out here. And there you have it. We have, I done forgot the name of this map, flipping, whatever. 25,000 points. We're teleporting away. Game over. Done it by round 20 with the, you know, the help of the, the text guide there. So I'll call that a W. That was a really fun map to play. Really enjoyed it. Hope you guys enjoyed watching and, and going along with it. Um, and I want to keep my eyes out for any uh, any other new maps that drop anytime soon. If uh, you end up seeing one super, like, you know, that just drops before I get a chance to, just shoot me a thing in the comment section or on the Discord server. I'd really appreciate it. And I would try to put it on the priority to playlist. So, it's going to do it for this one, ladies and gentlemen. As always, make sure you hit the thumbs up button. Subscribe if you haven't already. Share your friends. Check the link in the description of the channel, especially Pro Caliber HQ. Uh, the day that you're seeing this might also actually have another video up. Just depends on how upload times and all that crap goes. So, uh, so yeah, you know, hit me in the comment section, sub, and uh, till the next one, guys. Adios.